How's it going guys? Today we're going to go over some metric conversions. I think this is the very first thing I had to learn in my general chem class. Uh, so it makes a good starting point for these videos. So the very first thing, it's really important to just know this number line. The very middle of the number line is just going to be your base unit. Then you can go whichever way you want. I like to start left to right, go this way. Deci, centi, milli, space, space. And we have micro, which is like this funny looking U. I think it's called a mu. Space, space, nano. Then going the other direction, we have D, which is a capital D or a DA, lowercase. Then hecta, we have kilo, space, space, mega, space, space. And then we have giga, all the way down there. So again, this is just something that it's easiest to memorize. Uh, one mnemonic that you can use is dogs can make us nice or Greg makes killer hot dogs. Both of them have dogs in it, so it's kind of an easy way. If you can just remember that, you can sometimes remember the line. And then once you got the line down, it's going to be pretty straightforward from there, to be honest. First one I got, 180 milligrams convert to grams. So the easiest way, there's a lot of different ways, but the, the easiest way that I've found to do it is just look where grams is. Grams is a base unit. And then where milligrams is over here, there's one, two, three spaces, and you're going to the left. So take 180, the period's right there, and then you're going one, two, three to the left. One, two, three. Zero, zero, zero. You have 180,000 grams so you can make that your answer or you could do if you're looking for sig figs or something like that 1.80 times 10 and then the way you're going to find this if it's over here 180,000 1 2 3 4 5 so it's 5 spaces times 10 to the 5 Bam. Okay, cool. So it's not too bad. Next one, I have 0 0.732 kilometers or kilometers to millimeters. So this one, same strategy. I just start by writing over the number 0 0.3732. Check where km is. It's right here. And millimeters is all the way over here. Going... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces again to this. I'm sorry, this time it's to the right, and this was to the right too. I'm not sure if I maybe mixed up my right and left. So we're going six spaces to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have 732,000 millimeters or 7.32 times 10. And then again, we have one, two, three, four, five, times 10 to the fifth. Cool. All right, so for number three, I have 7.22 micrometers. And we're converting that into centimeters. So again, I'll write 722 out first. Then we have micro all the way over here, and we're trying to get down to centa. So one, two, three, four spaces to the left. So this time we're going this way. One, two, three, four. So that's 0 0.0722 centimeters. Or you could do... 
times 10 to the, this time it's going to be a negative 2 because it's making this number smaller. Okay, and then the next one, I have like kind of a part A, part B. This is like pretty much the only, like not really a trick question, but trickier question they can throw at you. Well, both of these are D, G. Uh, they're two different answers because if you look back at the number line, that is different than that. Deca and deci. So if it's a capital D or if it's a lowercase d a, um, then that's a different answer. So 75 D capital D G decagrams is going to be just one to the right. So you take 75.0, say, move it over one, you got 750 grams. Or again, you could do, if you really wanted to, 7.50 times 10 to the 2. Now this one, we have 75 uh, d decigrams, and so we're going to go, say, 0 0.0, from here to here, from deci to grams. So we're just moving one to the left, like that, 7.5 grams. And there's no other way, really, simpler to write that. So just watch out for that capitalization on that one. Next one, we have 62 kilograms, let's say. And we're going to go all the way over to nanograms. So starting at here and moving all the way to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're moving 12 spaces to the right. So for this type of problem, you can write out all the zeros if you want. Um, so like just you know, the decimal's right there, so you're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So obviously it's, it's getting larger. It's, a, it's going from here all the way to something very small. It's getting massive. Um, an easier way, I think, of to do it is just to, I mean, once you have a number that big, it might not even fit in your calculator. So you know you're going to have to end up probably putting it into scientific notation just for your own sanity. Um, what I usually would do is go straight to 6.2. And you know, that if it's 62.0, say, you're going to be moving 12 spaces this way uh, to the right. So you can just say, instead of 12, make it one less, move in the decimal place by one, and it's just going to be times 10 to the 11th. Because, it, like I said, it was going to be 12, and then you moved it in one to put it into scientific notation. Um, <clears throat> So that's, I think, uh, the simpler way to do those types of, when it's a, a big uh, change in, in metric conversions. Last one here, we have 14 milligrams to megagrams. Again, the capitalization, we're going here to mega from milli. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces to the left this time instead of the right. And I, when it's any larger number, I like to just write that right there because you can kind of check yourself later. You know that if anything is moving in this direction on the number line, the number gets larger because you're moving in smaller increments. So usually if it's an exponent, it's going to be, or if it's, um, if you're putting it into t like scientific notation, times 10 to the positive something. Now the opposite is true if you're moving in this direction. The number gets smaller because they're larger increments and it's going to be usually times 10 to the negative whatever, typically. So anyway, back to this, um, milligrams to um, megagrams, we're moving nine spaces. So again, we can write it out if we really want, 14, 1, 2, and then 2, 3, so 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna be a pretty big one. Or you can go straight into 1.4, like what I like to do. And that's gonna be, so we moved one to get to 0.4 and then an additional eight times 10. This time it's to the negative.
exponents. So the exponents is another one that's going to kind of throw some people, might make you get a question wrong if you're not careful. So yeah, that's a brief overview of some of the metric conversions, and then I think I'll probably go into some that are non-metric after this. Hope this helped someone.